I'm Charlie Smith. And I'm Eddie Rocks. And you're watching Sweet Daddy's Monster Jam. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in and watching us. Yeah. You know, everybody's asking a question, Charlie, what are you doing? You know, what, 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 what are you doing this for? What are you doing, man? Well, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> We're actually uh, going out and looking at bands, interviewing them, putting some of their live footage from practice and or uh, from their show oh, yeah. on video so that people can get, they can get some exposure and that people will out there... You know, be we're supporting the local uh, Savannah scene. Basically, Rock on. is what we're doing. Man. Rock on, man. Yeah. That's what we're doing. We're focusing on local talent, and we're supporting local musicians by interviewing them wherever they are. If they're at their gigs, if they're at their practice, we're going to go there and meet the bands, and you're going to learn all about what they're doing and the music they're playing. Yes. In fact, uh, today's show, uh, we are actually looking at a band called Toxic Oscar. Isn't that kind of weird, though? Um, Eddie and I were members of Toxic Oscar for many, many years. I think I was with them 25 years, and uh, Eddie was than with me. them probably five years. Yep. And um, it's going to be interesting. Kind of weird, but it's going to be a little bit interesting interviewing our former band. But it will take the pressure off of us. So I'm really looking forward to traveling to Bloomingdale, Georgia, to interview Toxic Oscar. Yeah, well, let's not, uh, let's not delay. Let's go right to the footage in Bloomingdale at Toxic Oscar's Rehearsal. Here we go. Toxic Oscar was formed in 1990 by Stephen Prescott and Will Griffiths after the dissolution of their band Ajna. After performing together for only five weeks, they were able to capture a win at Bandemonium, a Savannah, Georgia music festival and competition. They have opened up for several bands including Survivor, Atlanta Rhythm Section, Rhythm Corps, and the Artemis Pile Band. After years of peaks and valleys, the band perseveres in its mission to deliver solid rock and roll music to Savannah and surrounding areas. We were able to catch up with the band at their rehearsal studio this past Monday. Hey everybody and welcome to the Sweet View. My name is Charlie Smith, and here alongside of me is a longtime companion and friend of mine, Stephen Prescott. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing awesome, man. I'll tell you what, it's, it's a blessing to be here tonight with you guys, man. I tell you, you sounded great. I was impressed. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with the band. Well, we've changed the members and uh, changed a bunch of material, trying to get ready to go out and play again. Um, of course, we replaced a bass player, replaced a drummer replaced a singer, and uh, these things take time, so we're about that close to being ready to go. Right on. Well, I'm going to tell you, we're really excited to see you guys. Um, so is Savannah. Everybody asks me all the time, when are the guys going to get out? We can't wait to see them. So uh, I just want to let you know it's coming soon, and they're coming right at you. So, Steve, who are the current members in Toxic Oscar? Well, in addition to myself and Will Griffiths, who's been here 35 years now, we're almost up there in Rush territory. Uh, we have Randy Clark on vocals, who was formerly in the band as a drummer. We have Glenn Smith on drums, who was formerly in the band as a drummer. We have Brian Paul on lead guitar, who was also formerly in the band on lead guitar. And uh, Jim Gunn on, uh, on the controls in there, which explains why we suck so bad. <laughs> and, uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, occasionally some people will drift in and out and, and play. And uh, yeah, and Eddie Stewart on bass. He's the new guy. So, yeah, yeah, very I good forgot. solid bass player yeah, too. I must uh, add, he's very solid. Uh, the drummer's very good. The singer's very good. I tell you what, I'm very impressed, man. You know, I've been playing with you guys for 25 years, and being on this side and looking in and seeing it, I'm just, uh, I'm amazed at the uh, the sound. Uh, the, the, the quality, man, I tell you, it's just awesome. Well, thank you. We try hard. You're more than welcome. And uh, one question that the, the curious minds out there want to know is, um, you know, there was a legendary drummer that used to play here with you guys. And, and, and I mean, how do y'all deal with the fact that he had to retire and he's legendary? And, I mean, what do you do? Well, he's, he's, he's he, yeah, he's back singing for us now, so. <laughs> that was a good answer. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. And then, we have the other one that's on the and then yeah, the, the next best drummer, he's back playing with us again. So, so you got I mean, the things, going things on. work out, you know. Trying to get away with it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the question that people want to know is do you have any idea about 
when you think you're going to uh, get, get out and play again? Well, we're hoping for about the end of next month. Awesome, man. I'll uh, be there. You know, somewhere in that neighborhood anyway, we've got almost enough material and we'd like to, you know, polish things a, a tad more because we try not to go out, you know, half cock. But yes, that's we'll, where you've always been. And that's, we'll see. That's why it sounds so good when you get out, man. That's awesome. All right, Steve. Well, we darn sure appreciate your time and uh, we can't wait to see you, man. So, Toxic Oscar rules. Where's my check? Hey, Will. Do you got the check? <laughs> Hi, this is Eddie Rocks, and I get the great pleasure of interviewing Randy, the lead singer of Todd Skosker. And right. uh, uh, thank you for uh, joining us, Randy. We're, You're we're, very welcome. We're thank really you glad to be up here. Um, I was um, very fascinated to see your new facility. It looks really good. Uh, how long have y'all been playing in, the, in this uh, room? Good Lord. <laughs> how long? About two right. years. Two yeah. years. I well, haven't looks, been here. I haven't been here that, that long. So. Well, it looks really good. Yeah. It looks yeah. really good. It's very comfortable in here, and yeah. it has um, I like the way that you're just playing through the monitors. Yeah. I mean that keeps the, uh, that the sound helps so, us out. So you're doing that for um, just so you get the the sound of what you're going to have on stage. Exactly. Well, that's a exactly. good plan. I that's think a good so. plan. So yeah. what are some of the uh, the songs, the material that you're most proud of right now? Uh, well, I think we're going back and we're catching some of the older tunes, mm -hmm. but yet we're still. Uh, grabbing some new stuff, you know, and I'm liking the new stuff. So okay, what what, what uh, are some of the old songs that you really like? Because um, I well, know I mean, tonight you did you were doing Rush, you were doing you know. the uh, the Pink Floyd yeah. me medley, and yeah. I like that. So you go from a young lust yeah into uh, comfortably numb comfortably numb. I love right. that. So, oh yeah, me too. Me I too. bet that gets the crowd going. Yeah, I yeah. think so. And and it's just you know we we do that we do the Rush and you know the Led Zeppelin and um, but yet we come back we pick up the uh, Bad Finger. You know, with the, uh, and uh, I, you know, just a, a few more songs that we've got. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. Awesome. So. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, thank you again for, uh, for joining us today. And uh, we hope to come back and see you guys again soon. And uh, we'd like to do a music video with you. Love it. Okay. Awesome. awesome. I love it. Uh, what's this Eddie Rock signing off? See you soon. Hi, this is Eddie Rocks, and I'm here with Will Griffiths, one of the most amazing musicians in Savannah. He's been on the Savannah scene for a long time and been part of the band at Toxic Oscar for quite some time. And before that, uh, the band was called Ajna. Is that right? That's correct. That's oh. correct. Cool. Well, yeah. thank you for being on the show. We're glad to have you. Tonight. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank um, you. So uh, we were up and hearing the band in Bloomingdale at your rehearsal studio. Now, uh, I love the new rehearsal studio. I have to tell you, it's really nice. Oh, it's nice. I'm it's glad to tell her. Yeah, I got some new digs. Um, so right now you are um, also doing some uh, solo work and I, I got the pleasure of listening to some of those songs but tell me uh, about this project that you've been working on and how that kind of came together well I've had it out for a while I just never have put any of it out so I started listening to it again and then a couple of the songs really hit me so I said well, you know what it'd be a good idea to put these songs out yeah awesome so, yeah I think that they're uh, I think they're, they're really good yeah I think they're really good too yeah as amazing yeah. Uh, uh, artistry, yeah. amazing uh, fingering that you're doing on the uh, the keyboard there. That's just, uh, um, I guess, that's what you would say. Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, the uh, the technique and your your uh, uh, what would you call that? The, style. Uh, style. Yeah, your yeah. style is just a really D really awesome. Style, yeah. It's different. It's unique. I think it's uh, really um, moves people. I mean, I, I personally just uh, get excited hearing some of the uh, the little you. runs that you're doing through there. It yeah. kind of just makes you go, oh yeah. <laughs> Yep. So makes me happy when I play it. Yeah. So, uh, and you said also you had worked on a book. Now I know that you uh, you had formerly owned uh, the restaurant called Tapas. This is true. Yeah. And so you've written a book about bars in Savannah. Yep. Uh, a friend of mine named Gene Smith and I wrote the book. Unfortunately, Gene is not doing well at the moment, but um, we are we've worked on it for about a year and a half, and it's ready to be put out. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing the book. I hope you get it published soon. Me too. Yeah. So, um, uh, are you still working with the horses? I heard you've been um, do, doing some work with in the equine uh, industry. We're still we're still around the horses. Yes, uh, cool. we, we're out in Rinkin right now. So. Oh, cool. Yep. So, who's your favorite horse down there? 
Uh, Sam. Sam. Sam is the favorite horse. Sam the man. Sam All the right. Man. <laughs> cool. Yep. All right. Well, thank you again for joining us. Is there anything you'd like to add uh, before we go? Just anything you'd like to tell us about uh, the direction Toxic Oscar is going? Uh, or? No, just keep your eye out for us. We'll be out soon. You're going to like it. It okay. sounds good. Awesome. Well, as soon as you um, you find out where you're going to be playing, let us know because we want to share that with as many of our friends as we can. Well, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. And thanks for asking me for the interview. Thank you for tuning in, Savannah, and we hope you enjoyed our segment. Yes. Uh, be sure to join us next Friday as we're interviewing a band from Hilton Head, South Carolina, where we will kick, kick the, the bobo. bobo.